Hey boys, welcome back to round 9 of the Roosters career mode. And as you see there, City Country have played, Country won, and also the Test match, and I'm pretty sure none of our players were away for those games. Actually, maybe it didn't matter. Maybe the games were played earlier and the players that were picked, I didn't have to get out of the squad. Because it seems a little funny, because I'd... In the, for the, like, City Country, I would I would have thought there'd be a few guys um, that would have played in those games, so maybe it just worked out that I didn't have to, or it didn't pop up that any of my guys uh, played in those matches because we didn't have a game on at the time. Um, maybe. I'm not too sure, actually. But without taking the Cowboys, you know, we we are after just scraping home against the Seagulls. It's uh, it's good to play some, some dry weather footy, get to throw the ball around a fair bit, but taking on, obviously, like I said, the Cowboys, who are going to be tough. A uh, few few tough games in a row, obviously, losing against the Broncos. The Seagulls were a very tough game, although we did come away with the win. Uh, right there, though, silly silly offload. I didn't actually mean to pass that last one with Tupo. I sort of just... Uh, I don't know if it was one of those times where it just passes. Uh, it's sort of like... It, it's weird because... <laughs> it's weird because sometimes it feels like I have pass queuing enabled because if I, like... Let's say I double tap the pass button... Occasionally, it will pass the next pass, even though I don't have the pass coming enabled, which is strange. But Mitchell Pierce, once again, continuing his very strong form from last year and the early parts of the season here, gets into the backfield and just takes on Lachlan Coote. And poor old Coote was left uh, left stranded, couldn't uh, couldn't make ground on him. And a nice early try to start proceedings. Latrell Mitchell looking to line this up, and another missed time one last. Last episode, I, I noticed I missed time like all the kicks, but they all went over, so it's not, it's not too bad. As uh, the Cowboys here get the, get their first real chance of the game to attack, uh, closing in on half time, it'd be nice for them to, to pick up pick up a try. But last tackle, we defended pretty well. Jonathan Thurston's going to put in a, a decent little grubber, but Mitchell Pierce again, that man uh, anticipating well and getting to the getting to the loose kick. As we're looking to spread it back into the middle. Pierce again, finding some room to move. Lachlan Coot is back there, but I think it's Tarmalolo put on a pretty big chase there to round him up. And we're spreading it out to the right, though. We should have him spread, but Hargraves turns it back on the inside. Not a not a bad option, you know, just tie the tie the ruck forwards out a bit. And now that's spread it out to the right. Gets the offload away, a bit risky, but the offload was on. And now Latrell Mitchell going for the corner, but Lachlan Coot this time coming up with a huge try saver, throwing him out the sideline, in fact, so... A, uh, a pretty big play as Dylan Napa, the hitman himself, comes up with a huge shot on Tamalolo. Probably, uh, probably wouldn't have it in real life, but uh, you know we'll take it in the game here. It's Dylan Napa putting in the shot on. It would be a pretty, a pretty decent, uh, you know, match up that Tamo, uh, not Tamo, Tamalolo and Dylan Napa. You know, I, I can't see anyone putting like a big hit on uh, Tamalolo. It just, it just doesn't happen. You know, you need a, you need a couple of guys to. To, to get him, it's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one hit. That's for, that's for sure. As uh, just from a half time, we did go on six uh, a six-nil lead. Not not terrible, but a pretty tight game. You know, a game probably ruled by defense. Not too many errors and just uh, good solid defense by both sides. It's right there. Throw the inside pass and Takiaho. Uh, you know the pass was on, but sort of Takiaho just sort of overrun the play. But he got back onto the ball. The huge hole was still there, but he's going to get tackled. Lachlan Coot is going to knock the ball free. Coot, uh, he's had a bit of a bit of a rough start to the game, but a couple of try savers, and then right there, Lachlan Coot was on the end of a forward pass. So the <laughs> the, uh, the topsy turvy night for Coot is continuing as Hargraves, not Hargraves. Why do I, every time I see Har, uh, Kenny Dow, he looks exactly like Hargraves in this game. As um, Gavin Cooper here takes the intercept and. Blake Ferguson is thankfully going to round him up. I thought we weren't going to catch him for a second there. It was, uh, you know, the pass was probably, it, it probably wasn't on. We probably shouldn't have thrown it, but I thought we had them out wide. Tamo makes a good charge straight through the line. Ferguson comes up with a try saver, and then another try saver right there. Held up over the line. 93 meters gain in that set. Last tackle. Thurston is going to put up a, a decent kick. Ben Hunt underneath the bit. Ferguson all day. Uh, ben handed up against Ferguson, not a not a great matchup in the air, I would say. And we look to turn that into into a counter attack, and we throw. The, 
offload the call forward. What a harsh call. I thought it was flat. You know, maybe being a touch forward, but I mean, come on. It has to <laughs> just let it go, ref. It was going to be a good try. The offload, we would have scored for all money. Now the Cowboys get a good shot to come back into the game. So, you know, it was a, it was a big moment that it could it should have been 12-0 to us. Well, I say should have been. It, <laughs> it might have been a forward pass uh, if, I'm, if I'm honest, but I thought, you know, it was a good pass. Let it go. <laughs> let it go for us. But 10 minutes to go, we're still defending well. You know, the Cowboys have had a few chances, but our defense is just rock solid. As Pierce, you know, just getting it out of our end, probably the right idea. Uh, going for the 40-20, usually we get those with the win, but it's still a good kick. It's going to uh, not allow us to throw a silly offload and just try to pin them in their, in their half, pretty much, as we look to go on the attack right here. Turn it back on the inside to Pierce. Good ball, that. Tries to take him on. Uh, who was that? Gavin Cooper? No. I don't know. I don't know who that was. Maybe because Jason he came up with a pretty big tackle because I turned Lachlan Coot inside out. But it looks like it's going to be too little, too late for the Cowboys. They had their chances in this game, but we uh, we were a little too good. But we passed the ball back straight to Jarvin Bowen. He's racing down the sideline. Ferguson, thank God, he comes up with a huge tackle. I couldn't believe it. I thought we're going to extra time here. But no, we, uh, we survived the game 6-0. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.